What's going on guys? Uh, so today we're gonna do things a little bit different and we are gonna do a review of what I think is the best mobility tool out there on the market today. That is this guy, the Shoulder Rock by Kabuki Strength. Um, honestly, this is easily the most utilized tool in my gym bag. More than my lifting belt, my knee sleeves, wrist wraps, straps, you name it. Uh, I use this thing on a regular basis. Uh, I think it's great. Uh, but before we jump into all the reasons why I think that is, let's go ahead and take a look at some footage of it in action so you can get an idea of how it works. And then we'll talk about it after. Right, guys uh, so now that you've seen how it works let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons and how I came to purchase this and so let's start there um, because that actually starts with a story um, a few years back actually about five years back now uh, I injured my shoulder doing some overhead press uh, couldn't really tell you exactly what happened uh, I was doing barbell overhead press I went to re-rack the weight did something funny where I missed racking it on the right side and my, my shoulder just dropped and tweaked a little bit. Uh, initially, I didn't think it was that bad. I ended up finishing my workout. So the next day when I went into the gym, I was going to warm up with some pull-ups, jumped up to grab the bar and immediately had to release it because of the amount of pain in my shoulder once I put some tension into my shoulders. And so that's when I realized something was wrong. So left the gym, ended up going to the chiropractor, he suggested I get an MRI to take a deeper look at what was going on in there. So I scheduled the MRI, went in, found out that I was dealing with a little bit of scar tissue, had done a little bit of damage to some of the muscles back there. And the end result was that they said it was bad enough that I could do surgery to repair it if I wanted to, but it wasn't so bad that I had to do surgery. Um, and so I took some time to think about it, talked to some people that had gone through shoulder surgery and said that they never really felt the same afterwards. So I decided to rule out doing surgery and I would find other ways to rehab it. And so in comes this bad boy. Uh, had already been eyeballing it as something that I wanted to purchase and figured with everything that was going on at the time, it was, it was finally time to pull the trigger, so I did. Uh, took some time off the gym while I waited for it to show up. And once it did, I started using it about three to four times a week and ended up rehabbing my shoulder back to full strength uh, and probably even a little bit stronger than I was prior uh, just using this thing. Uh, so obviously, I may be a little bit biased in this, but I really do think that, you know, given the situation, to be able to rehab it with just using this is pretty impressive. 
so with that being said, uh, let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons. Uh, the first pro is obviously the build quality. Uh, this thing is solid, it's built like a tank. Um, basically one piece of metal. The only moving part is the nut that it holds the weight down, down at the bottom. And uh, so the thing can take a lot of abuse and it just keeps on trucking. Uh, the second pro I would say is the knurling on the grip. Uh, when I first got it, it was almost too much um, because it would like, the second you put your hand on it, you you know your grip was solid. And even now, almost five years later, like it's still almost just as good as, in, as it was in the beginning. Uh, I don't feel the need to have to use chalk or anything to ensure that my grip stays where it needs to be. Uh, I can just grab this thing and go, which is really nice. One of the more uncommon pros I would say is that I think it's pretty portable. Um, yeah, it's long and it's one piece and it doesn't actually fit in my gym bag. Um, but I've kept this thing in my car for years. Um, you know, just grab it out of the, the car when I need it, uh, throw it back in when I don't. Uh, it's never felt so cumbersome that I feel like I need to leave it at the gym. It's just right there when I need it. Like I said, it only weighs nine pounds, so it's not like I, you know, carrying this 45 pound bar into the gym every day. Uh, so really and truly, it's, uh, it's, it's not bad, it's pretty portable. Now, I've never had to travel with it. Um, I don't really see why I would ever want to, but if that is something you would be interested in doing, they actually sell a what's called the tactical shoulder rock, um, and it's a two-piece construction where it screws apart in the middle there, um, comes with a carrying case, so it breaks down to be a little bit more portable. So if you were flying and wanted to take it with you, you'd have that option. Um, honestly, I've never felt the need to do that, but the option is there for you if you do want it. One of the last pros is I would say is the price. Uh, it's relatively cheap for what you're getting, I think. Uh, so it comes in at $189 uh, for this one. The tactical shoulder rock that I talked about is $269, uh, so not all that much more expensive if you wanna have that extra portability. Um, and less than $200 for, especially for me, what would have been thousands of dollars in surgery and rehab, like, it's, it's worth its weight in gold. As far as the cons, I feel like the only con is just the learning curve. And really to call that a con is probably a stretch anyways, just because with any new piece of gym equipment, there is a little bit of a learning curve. Uh, but like I said, they provide a lot of uh, educational information on how to use it. And it didn't take me long at all to figure it out. Um, and really the only reason that I'm even listing it as a con is because I didn't have anything else that I was going to put on that list. So I felt like I had to nitpick something to put it on there. Uh, so that's what it's going to be. So anyways, guys, uh, that's the review. Uh, I hope you found it informative. If you have any questions about the shoulder rock, go ahead and leave them down in the comments section. Uh, or if you have any thoughts on any other items you'd like to see me review, uh, go ahead and leave that in the comments as well. Uh, go ahead and hit that like button if you did like the video and go ahead and subscribe if you aren't already. And we will talk to you in the next one. Peace.